place is so beautiful. Thank you. And no one's uh, lodged any complaints about the name. Okay. <laughs> okay, it does get the occasional eye roll. <laughs> but I'll never forget how badly it annoyed her until she finally had to laugh. And nothing was better than that woman's laugh. Dahana. Dahana. Hannah. Mm. You heard from Henry recently? Uh, check in every now and again. We haven't spoken to the kids in ages, though. But, hey, they are growing up and getting out into the world. They all came here a few months back. On holiday. Back across the pond on an adventure. Henry, so what's going to happen to her when Viola Sora's takes boyfriend. over? Because I know that's where Viola's this is all boyfriend. leading. She's 12. <laughs> She's 17. Christ. And fully smitten. Henry is terrified. You talked about what happened? No, I mean, that's what's interesting. They don't remember anything about it. What? Nothing. No. I'm just the kids. Henry still remembers all of it. But I mentioned Hannah and Flora asked me who I was talking about. It's been this way a while, turns out. So, it's weird. Well, if they don't remember Hannah, they don't remember. Her. So they've just forgotten it all. Well, they know they used to stay at Bly when they were children. Said they recognized Hannah's picture, but only as the woman that used to stay there with them. Do you think Henry will tell them? Would you? But how do they not remember Hannah, but they know talking? Owen? Hannah was there before him. This year. Jesus! What's going on? Are you okay? What happened? Okay. All right. It's gone. It's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. We're gonna be okay. You can't think the worst, Gee. right? We don't know what this means. Gee. We we could have so many more years together, Danny. We could have so many more years. We'll keep an eye on it, and it'll be fine. Okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Our union is officially civil. I'll marry her again. Oh, we God. Can. It looks oh like God. Now. Don't tell me she drowned herself. Okay, she didn't. She's just staring at it. Danny. Danny. <laughs> Danny. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so tired, Jimmy. Like every day I feel myself fading away, but I'm still here. I don't understand You're still how that is. Here. I remember in the beginning of the first episode, here. the woman narrating, she was emptying like all the water that was like in the tub, and I think there was a sink. I can't I remember. I feel you touching me. And every day we're living our lives. I'm aware of that. It's like I don't feel it all the way. I'm not even scared of her anymore. I just stare at her and it's getting harder and harder to see me. Maybe I should just accept that. No. Maybe I should just accept that no. and go. No. No. It's fine. If you can't feel anything, then I'll feel everything for the both of us. But no one He's going anywhere. Okay? You're still here. What if I'm here? Sit next to you. But I'm just really hurt. One day at a time. She's gonna leave so she doesn't hurt Jamie, isn't she? The au pair knew the moment had come. The beast had lurked indeed, and the beast at its hour had sprung. 
and she could not risk the most important thing, her most important person, not for one more day. I'm back to Bly. And so the gardener found herself back at Bly Manor one last time. Should I see if Danny's in there? The gardener said the words she'd heard those years ago. She willed it with everything she had. You, me, us, us. Take me with you, she cried in her heart. Take me, drag me down like you did the others. But the lady in the lake was different now. The lady in the lake was also Danny. And Danny wouldn't. Danny would never. In fact, no one would ever be taken again. And no one has been taken to this day. For the rest of her days, the gardener would gaze into reflection. She'd leave a door open at night, just a crack, should she ever come back. Waiting for her lover to return. The au pair's memories would fade, like Viola before her. Like the children, she too would forget her past. She would know nothing of the gardener, nothing of their life together. She's wearing Specific the ring. moments would all fade Jamie. away. She will merely walk the grounds of Bly, harmless as a dove, for all of her days, leaving the only trace of who she once was in the memory of the woman who loved her most. So is it true? Which part? I mean, is the couple getting married? England, is the girl and I Flora? Were to visit Bly Manor, I may get a peek of this lady in the lake. No. I expect if he were to fly to England, he would find no such place by that name. If you were to find the manor, though, perhaps you'd see her. Though no way to know when she's awake or asleep. Big day tomorrow. Let's get some rest. That's how it should be. It's Flora, but she doesn't have the accent, but she did move to America I young. I your story. I'm glad. But I think you set it up wrong just in the beginning. Is that so? Yeah. You said it was a ghost story. It isn't. No? It's a love story. I just keep thinking about that silly, gorgeous, insane man I'm marrying tomorrow. I love him more than I ever thought I could love anybody. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, he loves me the same exact amount. Sometimes when I'm sitting next to him in that easy silence, I only get with your forever person who loves you as much as you love them. I start getting really, really terrified that he's gonna before I do, and then what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to just live a life that he's not in? You shouldn't be thinking of losing each other at all. Don't let that hang over your happiness right now. Enjoy that easy silence with him. It is rare what you've got, but when the time does come, years and years from now, mind you, <laughs> will be hard every day and it won't get easier. But eventually, after some time, you'll find little moments, little pieces of your life that remind you of him. And they'll be silly and dumb, or they'll be sad and you'll cry for hours. But there'll still be a piece of him. And you'll hold him tight. It'll be like he's here with you now. You have a big day tomorrow. A happy day with your silly, gorgeous, insane man. I thought you might be making it up just off that name. That name? But then I figured, how could you know that? It's a funny coincidence, I suppose. My middle name is Flora. Is that right? Hmm. Huh. Good night. Good night.
See, like, who is she to them, though? If that I mean, if that's not the children, I mean, the one. Okay, it is the ch okay. Okay, so I was right about that. And that's Henry and Flora. Okay, guys, so that was the end of the Haunting of Blind Manor. And, um, yeah. Okay. What happened to Danny was not at all what I thought. I thought for sure she was dead at the beginning, okay? But Flora saved her by taking the place of Viola's daughter. Um, and then they had to save Flora from her because she was taking her to the lake. Um, Henry tried to stop her, but she ended up killing him. But Owen and Jamie came back and Hannah told them they needed to go to the lake. And, um, they got there and Owen was able to bring Henry back. Um, and Danny was able to... Uh, stop Viola from drowning Flora, who by this time had been taken over by Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca was going to, you know, do it for her, you know, because there was no way she could, you know, save her. So she was trying to spare her the, the pain of drowning. Um, but Danny somehow knew the right thing to say and... Um, she invited Viola in and Viola took it. And, um, so they saved Flora, but Viola was inside Danny. And, um, by this happening, the Viola keeping everyone there who died, you know, because anybody who died on Bly since her death was stuck there. And, um... By Danny inviting her in, she was able to release the spirits. Honestly, when I said that, I, I really didn't think that was going to be part of it. You know, when I said at the beginning that I hope they are able to, you know, save all the spirits, like set them free or whatever. I can't remember what I said. Um, I really didn't think that was going to be part of it, but it happened to actually be part of it. And, um... So, Rebecca and Peter and Hannah and everybody were able to move on. Don't know, like, we didn't really see, like, them leave, leave. They just left. And, uh, um, yeah, so, I mean, Danny didn't die, but she did spend her life in dread um maybe not all of it um for a time she you know at the beginning yes but as time went on you know it got peaceful but then it wasn't anymore um she just lived in dread of the spirit taking over her body because she could feel her inside and um her and jamie lived uh, you know years together I mean that was great and I'm glad that they at least got something I guess um I don't really understand uh why Danny had to die I know why she did it 
she was trying to not hurt Jamie because that was a possibility, which as if I've been Jamie, I've been scared to be with her, to be honest, uh, knowing what this spirit could do. And you're telling me that the spirit's in you and you can feel her and you know, she's going to take over you someday. That would terrify the hell out of me, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so when that time came, Danny left and she went and drowned herself in the lake. I just don't get it. Like her death, felt meaningless to me. All I did was prevent Viola from taking anybody else ever. But just don't live there. You know, I just, I didn't see why she had to die. I didn't get it. I don't know the meaning. I don't understand the meaning behind it. So, someone will have to explain it to me because I don't get it. It seemed like... It seemed like just meaningless to me. So, um, yeah. But at the end of the episode, you know, when it came back to the present time, um... I started to think that the bride might be Flora after I saw the kid standing by the fireplace. I think that's where he was standing. I was like, I saw him and thought, Miles. I didn't say that part out loud, but that's why I even thought that that could be Flora at all. Um, but then, you know, she didn't have the accent, and I was like, well, she did move here as a small child, and it's a possibility that she just you know, took on an American accent instead, uh, cause that happens, you know, and, uh, the more they talked, the more I thought I was wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like when she was talking to Jamie, I was just like, no, maybe this isn't Flora. Maybe it's just some random person. But then I kept thinking, it's like, why are they there? Why is Jamie here? at this place with this wedding and these group of people she was at the rehearsal dinner she has to know these people you know so anyway but uh it was confirmed during the the wedding reception that um the guy who gave the speech was owen um and, and then you saw miles and then you saw henry and flora dancing together and then they show jamie you know as the jamie that we've seen so um yeah yeah, I mean, I guess they just really forgot. Like, did they, they I not know who Jamie is? I just, I don't know. It's strange that they forgot all of that. Because wasn't the gardener there before Hannah as well? I, just, I don't get that. I, it's really confusing. Um, I have to rewatch, like, the very last scene. I don't get what happened there. I saw a hand on her shoulder. I'm assuming it must have been Danny, her spirit, I guess. I don't know. Like, why does she sleep with the door cracked open in a chair? I'm, what's she waiting for? Is she waiting for Danny? I just, I don't get it. I have to rewatch it. Or you guys can explain it to me because I really didn't understand it. Um... So, I mean, overall, I enjoyed the series. I really did. I just didn't like some of the 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 bits at the end. I just they didn't seem to mean anything to me. Like, I don't know. I just didn't get it. <laughs> I've said that like a million times, but I didn't get it. Um but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.